a top eight dung heap, he sang out, Then up to him there came a fox, who with fine words addressed the cock. <laughs> Says Fox, how lovely you are, sir, I've never seen a nobler bird. Your voice the clearest of them all, save for your sires, as I recall. No bird could better vocalize than he, for he would close his eyes. I'll do the same, the cock proposed. He flapped his wings, his eyes he closed. He thought to make his song shine bright. The fox leapt up and clutched him tight, and took off toward the forest. And as he passed through some open land, the shepherds tried to run him down. Dogs barked at him from all around. Look at the fox, he's caught a cock. If he comes near, woe to the fox. The cock said, shout to them, just so, I'm yours, and you'll not let me go. But as the fox began to shout, from fox's mouth the cock leapt out, and up the trunk of an old tree. And when the fox did all this see, he felt himself most infantile to have been duped by Rooster's guile. Outraged and in a dreadful wrath, the fox began to curse his mouth for speaking when it ought to hush. The cock replied, I'll do as much, and curse the eye that thinks to shut when it should safeguard and watch out.